Hey, Brock here, Brock Page Predictions and Sports Picks with my eight unit power play. And I'll oh, forget that. It's time to get serious because I'm talking about the NCAA National Championship men's basketball. We have ourselves a great one. So before I get into that, let me go ahead and do my intro and go through the uh, particulars because I don't want you guys coming out trying to kill me when you uh, lose the mortgage. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you never want to trust the guy giving out free stuff, and that's exactly what I do. So let's go ahead and do the intro. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. My name is Brock Page, and I'm still doing random sports picks for fun. You also might be surprised as to who I'm picking in the national championship game tonight. If you just can't wait and you want to save yourself some time, check out my picks for this video in the description section below. Once again, I have to remind you, that I am not a sports betting expert, nor do I implore you to take any of my picks. A wise man once said, good ain't free, and free ain't good. If for some reason you decide to use the free information on this program, you're utilizing it at your own discretion. And with that said, let's get into some picks for the NCAA National Championship for men's basketball. Let's go ahead and get into it. It's going to be a great one, guys. Let's get a little bit serious here. I'm talking about Gonzaga versus UNC. The betting opened up with North Carolina as the two-point favorites and the total points at 154.5. Since then, UNC is now minus 1.5 against the spread with the total points moving upward to an even 155. Currently, the Tar Heels are laying 120 on the money line. And at the moment, 58% of the money is on Gonzaga to get the job done. Now, when it comes to the spread, the Zags have indeed been better against the number. Overall, the Gonzaga Bulldogs covered 68% in all games, while UNC sits at just 52%. Gonzaga once again holds the advantage in the location game, going 10-5 against the spread away from home, while UNC's gone 6-10 in that very same category. Here's one more crazy stat for you when it comes to the spread, and it's kind of a quirky one, but it works for my show. When Gonzaga faces teams allowing 67 to 72 points a game, they're covering an absolutely unheard of 90%. So it looks like UNC has their work cut out for them. Let's take a look at what they've done in the tourney. The Tar Heels absolutely decimated Texas Southern and covered a massive 20 six and a half point spread in the round of 64 that game went over the line in round two they beat a tough Razorbacks team but failed to cover 11 and a half points that game also uh went under the line in the sweet 16 they took on a real good Butler team not only beat them but covered a seven point spread with the game going over in the elite eight the heels faced their biggest challenge yet taking on Kentucky great game there the heels win by two resulting in a push depending on where you book your wagers. And that game stayed under. And then finally, in the final four, uh, they miss uh, four foul shots at the end. They still end up beating Oregon uh, by one and fail to cover once again. They also pushed on the total points. All told, UNC successfully covered just two of five games in the tourney. Uh, very consistent with their performance against the number all year round. Now on the other side, let's take a look at Gonzaga. And they had some real impressive wins in the tourney themselves. Uh, at least I was impressed. The win against the motivationally charged Cinderella-stricken Northwestern Wildcats, that, that win really impressed me. Uh, teams like that can be real scary and an absolute nightmare to play. Uh, those kinds of teams really have nothing to lose. The Gonzaga Bulldogs did put the Wildcats in the ground but failed to cover in that tough matchup. The Zags also had impressive wins over West Virginia, uh, an absolute massacre over Xavier. They really handled those guys well. And of course, the thriller the other night with the Gamecocks. Uh, five games, just one cover. And that's real important. They've been great all year round against the number. But in this tourney, only one cover. All that said, let's just touch on the total points real quick. Gonzaga's games have gone under in two of their last three. UNC games have gone under the total points in three of their last four. Both teams are collectively averaging just 146 total combined points in their last four games, respectively. All that said, I'm ready to make my pick, as I think the UNC Tar Heels at minus one and a half will get the job done against the spread. That's the ideal scenario for the sports book right now as well. Now, when it comes to the total points, I think this one stays under 155. And when it comes to the money line cash, 
I think the North Carolina Tar Heels win this one outright and become your 2017 NCAA National Champs. Good luck, UNC. I'm pulling for you. Uh, two losses in the finals back-to-back -back would be devastating for these sophomores, juniors, and seniors. I just don't see it happening. All right, guys. I want everybody to enjoy the games. That is going to do it for me. Once again, I have to remind you that I am not a sports betting expert, nor do I implore you to take any of my picks. A wise man once said, good ain't free, and free ain't good. For some reason, you decide to use the free information on this program. You're utilizing it at your own discretion. Most importantly, if you're betting any of these games, do it safe, do it responsibly, and most important, have fun. For Brock Page, predictions and sports picks, I'm Brock Page, and have yourself a positive day.